Hello and welcome back to Backyard Food Orchard. This is your host, uh, Home Gardener. And uh, firstly, I would like to thank all our uh, Backyard Food Orchard YouTube viewers for supporting us uh, in producing good quality videos, especially when it comes to uh, Melbourne suburban typical family uh, home and a decent size backyard you know we are able to produce a uh, video which can help you to either replicate the same thing or do something better and in this video i would like to uh, show you uh, what has happened to our indian guava trees if you remember uh, just before winter in the last week of may we have uh, done a small backyard experiment where we had two guava trees and one we put in the pot and took it away and put it under the shade and another was in the backyard and we protected that tree with frost blanket and everything so i would look i would like to show you what happened to these uh, two guava trees please come and here we go i have just removed the frost blanket this morning and left uh, the evidence behind you to see this is a indian guava tree which was in the backyard thank god it survived uh, this dreadful melbourne winter honestly speaking we had a pretty nasty winter this time and uh, today is the 10th day of spring or 10th of september in melbourne it's a beautiful day we thought to take this opportunity and produce uh, this piece of information for you. So this is the Indian guava one, nicely protected with the frost blanket. Still, there are some things we will remove it after this video. And another Indian guava, you know, we have got this in the pot. So now, you might be thinking, why am I going to, uh, what am I going to do this uh, with this two one? Now, if you remember, these guava trees uh, in a hotter or tropical condition, it may produce fruit twice a year. But in the cold environment like uh, the eastern states of Melbourne or Australia, it may give a fruit uh, in summer around November and December. So we need to uh, protect this one in order this guava tree to produce nice and healthy uh, and fleshy guava. So we have to do a couple of things in order to maintain that. So this one uh, is our guava tree one. And if you can come a little bit close, I just wanted to show you something. You are noticing that we have got this new growth. Guava tree is a very atypical tree where the fruiting happens to the new growth. So we don't have to touch this, but what we can do, uh, we can maintain the shape of this tree. So. As you can also see here, this V shaping is occurring and a further subdivision is happening at this point. We certainly don't want that. So we need to find the closest, uh, you know, collar and we need to control uh, the growth so that it doesn't impact uh, the overall uh, health of the gourd tree. Again, for that, I need uh, a fine scatcher and my famous alcohol swab. We need to clean it because I have used it in other parts of the backyard. So just bear with me while you have got a decent look of the guava tree. We'll be quite lucky actually to get any uh, fruit this time, but we never know. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm going to prune from this point onwards. and yeah don't go too close to the collar that's it when when the growth occurs it will further have two branches from this side it won't create uh, the bulb or the cluster of branches which may have a negative impact on uh, the growth because in this space this tree may not able to get the proper sunlight okay so now this is the second one which you are seeing and this one we kept under the shade and it's really survived now we want this guama tree to take a shape uh, in 
you know while it is in the pot and later down the track we may put in this in the you know ground so we are training this uh, guava tree the branches are still very flexible so we used our old bricks and we use this environmental friendly thread so we are not pruning anything we are just giving this tree a shape all all you can see it is going to be a guava spalet tree and this is the main framework which is going vertically and we have got three scaffolding branches one two and three so we tied all these three branches with this string and supported with our uh, bricks so we are hoping that this will give this plant a enough uh, support and the strength and hopefully we can get uh, some nice fruit as well so that's all from us from the backyard fruit orchard and please do not forget to click the subscription thank you very much for all your comments and compliments and uh, please feel free to share this video we are hoping to produce more good quality videos this spring and summer of melbourne and thank you very much once again for all your support and wishes please take care have a nice day